if you want to take your recordings to go from looking like this to looking like this, stick around because I'm going to show you the exact OBS settings that will make it happen. So yeah, let's do it. Guys, first of all, you want to make sure that you have OBS downloaded and you're going to right click on it and run as administrator. Once it opens up, you want to head over to settings and then you want to head over to video. Make sure your base canvas resolution, like I'm using a 1080p monitor, matches the output scale resolution and the FPS value is 60 frames if you're recording a gameplay. If there is not much movement going on, then you can use 30 frames. Also, if you have a low-end PC, you can stick with 30 frames. Then we want to head over to Output tab. And then from here, we want to change this Output mode from Simple to Advanced. And then we're going to go to Recording tab. And the first thing that we want to change over here is where you save your recordings. Make sure you use an SSD, if possible, to record your gameplay footage. Then the recording format will choose MKV and later on I'll show you how you can convert from MKV to MP4 format. Then for video encoder, if you have an NVIDIA card, always use NVIC H.264. It takes off the load from your CPU and gives you smooth performance. If you are on AMD, pick AMF. For audio encoder, we want to use the first option that is AAC and make sure the rescale output is disabled. Then we want to head over to encoder settings and set the rate control from constant bitrate to CQP. Then the CQP value. This is your quality level. Lower is equal to better quality by bigger file size. Higher is equal to smaller file size and lower quality. For gameplay, anywhere from 18 to 23 is the sweet spot. I personally recommend starting at 20. Then in keyframe intervals, you want to put this number to 2. Then in preset quality, you want to either pick P4 if you're recording gameplay or P5 if you have a solid high-end PC. I personally recommend putting this to P4 and trying it out. For tuning, leave it to high quality. For multipass mode, if you're using a still footage that doesn't have a lot of movement, you want to use two passes quarter resolution. Or if you have a high-end PC, you can even ramp up to two passes full resolution. If you're using CQP, Multipass usually gives very little extra benefits. CQP already targets quality per frame. So for your CQP recordings, I recommend leaving this to single pass. For profile, keep it at high. Uncheck look ahead since it takes a lot of toll on your GPU and increases latency. For adaptive quantization, keep it checked. For B frames, keep it at 2 and hit apply. Quickly, don't forget the audio settings. Set your sample rate to 48,000 kilohertz and make sure your desktop audio matches your source. For microphone, make sure it matches your source, whatever microphone you're using. Then hit apply. At last, we're going to go to advanced settings. In advanced settings, we're going to go to video. Make sure the color format is NV12 and the color space is 709. For color range, you want to change from limited to full and then hit apply. Once you have finished your recording, you want to head over to file, then Remux recording. From here, you're going to click these three dots and find the MKV format file that you just recorded. From there, we want to open it and just hit Remux recording. Once it's done, you will find the MP4 file right in the folder where OBS saves recordings. And that's it. With these OBS settings, your gameplay recordings will look crisp, smooth and professional. If this helped, hit the like. And if you want more guides like this, subscribe so you don't miss them.